Hello everyone, welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this tutorial, we are going to configure the router and the switch. And let's uh, talk a little bit more about the background information before we proceed. Let's say we have a working internet router in the living room where the fiber and the optical network converter is connected. And now we want to extend the network into the bedroom. All right, so this is the bedroom. Due to a need of a stable internet connection uh, with the ethernet cable, right? So we bought a second router, which is this router, and we place it in the bedroom. And in the normal way, we will connect the LAN port of this router, of the living room router, to the one port or to the internet port of the bedroom router. And it should be work with no issue. However, with this kind of setup, there are some problems. The first thing, there will be a double NAT. NAT stands for Network Address Translations. Having two routers means we are having two different networks. So one is the living room networks and the other networks is the bedroom network. So when the packet from the PC go to your bedroom router, it will perform network address translation to convert the IP from this network to the external network, which means the living room network. And when the living room network receive that packet, they will also perform another network as red translation to convert the local IP to the external, to the IP that provided by your internet service provider. So we have the bone app, and this will consume a lot of uh, processing power uh, up which we can save that uh, power for all the tasks such as uh, wireless and DHCP and quality of service control. So this is the first problem. And the second problem will be the device in the bedroom, let's say the PC and the printer can communicate with the device in the living room. But the device from the living room network, let's say this living room PC and this living room laptop cannot communicate with the device in the bedroom network by default unless NAS and port forwarding is config on the bedroom router. So we have some problem and all of these problems can be solved by config the router in the bedroom at a switch. And in this case, the network from the living room will only be extended by using a switch only. Right, sound like a good plan, right? So this is the plan. We have three steps. The first step, we will assign an IP address to the bedroom router. And this IP address is in the same subnet with the living room router. And if this IP is not in the IP range provided by the DHCP server of the living room router, we don't need to configure the address reservation. But if this IP is in the range, provided by the DHCP server, we will need to configure the address reservations. And the second step, we will be turn off the DHCP on the bedroom router. So after we turn off the DHCP on the second router, on the bedroom router, it will become a switch. And after that, you can connect the LAN port from this router to the LAN port from the bedroom router. In this example, I will be using the same router, which is the TP-Link Ages. Uh, C1200 and before we get started make sure that you are not connecting the two routers to each other and now we will use our laptop to connect to the router in the living room and after that we will accept the control band and do some of the configuration all right so now i will navigate to 192 that's 168.0.1 which is the default uh, web management for the tp-link routers and the username will be admin and the password can be found at the bottom label in the router. All right, so navigate to advanced and then network and then DHCP server. We can see that the DHCP server is providing the IP from 192.168.0.100 to 199. So we still have the range from 192.168.0.2 to 192.168.0.99. Uh, 
So we will be pick an IP address from this range for the bedroom router. And in this case, I will be using 192.168.0.99. And because this IP address is not in the range provided by the DHCP server, we don't need to uh, configure the address reservation like this, but we can just skip it. So we have done with the living room router and now let's navigate to the bedroom router. If you had previously connected the router to the network, please disconnect all the cable and only connect your laptop or your PC to the bedroom router. So I will be doing that now. I will be disconnect the cable. All right, so I have just connect the cable to the router. And let me just refresh the page because they are the same device, so they should have the same management uh, web address. So let's just log into it and the passwords. Let's navigate to advanced network and DHCP server. So we can see that the DHCP server is enabled by default on the bedroom router and let's just turn it off. We click, untick on this one and select save. Right, so the DHCP server will turn off. After that, go to LAN and change the IP address of the router. As we have just discussed, we will be set up the router with the IP address of 192.168.0.99. So let's just do it. After you're done, click save. The router is skipping to the new login page, which, which is 192.168.0.99. So let's give it a minute. We have just successfully configured the LAN IP for the bedroom router to 192.168.0.99 and because the DHCP server was turned off previously, so the PC will not receive an IP address from it and you will not be able to connect to the internet or connect to the router, right? So now it's time to connect the two router to each other. From the LAN port of the living room router will be connected to the LAN port of your bedroom router. So let's just do it. All right, so this is our network connections interface and it's still, it's still showing that undefined. So let's just disable and re-enable it. Let's see. This identifying. All right, perfect. So as you can see, the router had successfully assigned an IP address to the computer, and this I this router will be the router from the living room, of course. So let us just check. If we go to one nine two dot one six a dot zero dot ninety nine, we will be accessing the router IP for the bedroom and if you are going to 192.168.0.1 you will be connecting to the router in the living room so that's all and we have just successfully config the router at a switch and for the Wi-Fi the same still happen all the traffic will be routed to the primary router which is the living room router and it should be in the same network Great, right. so we have just successfully configured a router as a switch. And if you have any questions or idea, please leave it in the comments so that we can discuss. And if you see the video is helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel to support me. Thank you and see you.